today we take a look at Transformers Kingdom Dinobot. I will address the elephant in the room. The hands are ridiculous. Anyway, so this is the Transformers Kingdom version of Dinobot, and it's a Velociraptor with silly silly beady eyes and a weird kind of mouth and the weird floppy hands and the little cute purple tip on his tail uh this is not one that you buy for dinosaur mode you buy you 100 percent buy this for uh robot mode and you will see why momentarily but this does give me a chance to show off the fact that I can compare him to himself. So this is the 2008 Universe version of Dinobot. Uh, you can see the similarities. They're colored the same, except for uh, uh, his coloring is more brown and gray, and his coloring is more brown and kind of goldish. Proportions are definitely a lot stranger with this one. Um, it's old, so it's barely going to want to stand up. Uh, this one I keep in dinosaur mode alongside uh, the rest of my Dinobot collection. Um, not Dinobot, the character Dinobots in general. It has this, this kind of action-posed tail that curves. Whereas his tail is straight. And uh, I won't go too much into it because he's going to get his own video. But that's the comparison in dinosaur mode for those two. Um, with the kingdom, let me get him out of the way. With the kingdom version of Dinobot, you don't get any, uh, you don't get any rotation here at all. This doesn't move. Uh, you get some rotation here. The feet can move around. These are uh, hinged up here, hinged here, and a ball joint here. You can open and close the mouth. Uh, he does not have front teeth like um, everything else that's come out lately for some reason, including uh, Grimlock, who has no front teeth. But I fixed that. Here's dinosaur mode. I'm not going to do this on camera. It is a, not a quick process for me because I don't do it very often with him. Let's go to dinosaur. Uh, let's go to robot mode. All right. Here is Dinobot in robot mode, and it is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at it. That's Dinobot. That couldn't be anybody but Dinobot. And the dinosaur hides so well. You get a little tiny bit of back kibble, but considering what's crammed in here, the transformation on this thing is so cool. Like, it's just like flip, 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 flip. And everything's hidden, tucked away. He comes with his sword. He comes with his tail spinny thing. It doesn't spin on this one so much. I mean, it's pegged in. You could turn it, but it doesn't really spin, spin. That is such an awesome sculpt. And, of course, you know, you've got your ankle rockers. And you've got your knee bends. And your your you got the, the awesome rotation in the hips. And you've got all the articulation in the arms. And you even have you you can you can open and close the hands, and it's got the the five finger two thumb deal going, just like the cartoon. He's got that grimace on his face, like look at that. That is a grumpy, grumpy bastard. And you can tell, like he just he's just pissed off about everything, which is so cool. This this figure's fantastic. This is definitely a robot mode figure, though. Uh, the weird goofy hands and stuff in the raptor mode. The face on the raptor is a little bit funky. Uh, if you're going to get this guy, it's going to be robot mode, and you're just going to leave him that way, I hope. Um, on the other hand, and I will show you this for comparison, <laughs> the 2008 version. Uh, wow. So um, they, they definitely tried to keep human proportions. He's probably barely even going to stand. He's a bit loose. Uh, he is a he is a mess, uh, but he does have a different gimmick because you can put the sword in the tail. I'm not doing it right now, and it's spring loaded. And it fires. One thing that I wish they would have done on this one, they did on this one. Just as even a throwback, 
is right here on top of the raptor head. You can change when he's in beast mode, you can just have a raptor head with nothing on it, and then you can swap it around from um, robot mode, or I'm sorry, you can swap it around from um, Maximal and Predacon, depending on how you're playing with him, and that's pretty cool. But he's not the point of the video, he's just here to show that. Uh, some more, let's get some more scale going. Uh, just to show how he is with some of the other Kingdom figures. So that's how he stands next to Black Arachnia. Uh, here how he, here's how he stands over the piece of shit that is Rhinox. Uh, let's see, just throw a couple, we're just going to throw a couple, couple more in here just for... Scale and scale and scale and scale and scale and scale and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here's... He's taller than Optimus Primal, like he should be. Um, well, maybe he shouldn't be. Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe that is a little big, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, let's see. Who else uh, do I have close by? Oh, I've got G2 uh, Ram... Seriously? I said no. I said no. Interrupting dinosaur. Anyway, here is a G2 Ramjet. So, yeah, you need a Dinobot in your life. Uh, that one, not that one. So, uh, your your kingdom line is not going to be complete, and if you're trying to redo. Or get new versions of, of the uh, Beast Wars figures. You definitely need to get this one. I mean, there's some of the Beast Wars figures you probably could do without. Um, if you've got an old rat trap, maybe you don't need the new one. Um, if you've got um, any version of Rhinox that isn't that one, keep it. Um, but if you've got this version of Dinobot, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go, go get this one. Go get it. And just do, like, go get it. All right, well, that's it for me tonight. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, YouTube, 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 and uh, don't forget that this is the anniversary for Beast Wars. Check out uh, tformers.com for more details on that. There'll be a link at the bottom. Uh, and happy anniversary. Later.